In this video, I'm going to show you how can you configure BDC, which is a private data source connect in the Grafana cloud. And I'm going to show it on a Zabbix example, but the same applies to any other data source, which of course supports the PDC. And what exactly is a private data source connect and why do we need it? It might seem a little bit different if you're using Grafana in this case as local installation within your private network, then you don't really need it because all the connections to your data sources, which I assume are also within this private network, they're just local. You don't need to worry about the security. You know, you don't need to be afraid that someone could hijack your, your sessions and get some uh, priceless data or authentication parameters or whatever else. But if we're talking talking about a Grafana cloud. So we understand that Grafana is somewhere there in the clouds, right? It's in a public network. And we obviously want to visualize some data from our private network, which is here, let's say at my home or at our office and whatever. So basically, we need to allow connection from our private secure office or environment to the cloud over the public internet. And that usually is the part which may seem scary, sketchy. Many people don't want to do that. Your security officers might not be happy about it. So Grafana has a solution for that. To save your time, you won't need to configure any VPN tunnels or anything else fancy between your network and the Grafana cloud. You can use only the PDC, which again stands for the private data source connect parameter within the Grafana cloud itself. And you can also check just the basic concepts, what it is, how it works, and what's the architecture in, of course, documentation of the grafana.com. Just Google for the private data source connect or the PDC. And in, in a nutshell, you just have a PDC service in your cloud. That's there by default. You don't need to install or configure anything separately. Well, just a couple of things to connect it together with the agent and we'll work through that. And then you deploy the PDC agent in your private network. And I will show how you can do that. There's three ways, at least for the moment. And those are very simple. You don't need to do any configuration. And that basically ensures that there is a secure and encrypted encrypted tunnel between the Grafana cloud and your private network where you might have all of your applications and other stuff that you are connecting with the Grafana. From the advantages, you can read all of them here. Basically, everything is working through the SSH tunnel. From known limitations, well, there's only one. The SOX5 protocol can add some latency to the queries, but I wouldn't say that that's anything new. Like whenever we're talking about um, secure connections, tunnels, or whatever else, encryption, that takes a little bit of the time. And uh, having a slightly increased latency, I don't think that's a major thing in, in this scenario. Not all data sources also support the PDC Connect, and here you can see all currently supported. Thankfully, Zabbix is one of them. So just to simulate everything, here I have my Zabbix installation, which is uh, on my uh, DigitalOcean virtual machine, which is CentOS 9. And it's nothing fancy. Again, 6.4, absolutely clean. Uh, no additional hosts, just the Zabbix server. Uh, everything is working like configuration hosts. We can see that agent is monitored. And I have my Grafana cloud, where I have my, uh, in the data sources, I have Zabbix configured from the previous video between. So if you're looking for how can you configure uh, and integrate Grafana with a Zabbix, I will link it uh, above this video. Uh, but everything is set up and I can click on save and test. And we can see that Zabbix API version is 6.4.10. Connection is successful. It means that again, Grafana cloud is connecting directly to my Zabbix installation over the public network, which we don't want to do in this case. So to show you that PDC agent actually works, I will do one thing, I will open my uh, CLI of my Zabbix server, and then I will start the firewall D, which basically will make my Zabbix front end being not available anymore. And also, if I will run a test in my Grafana cloud, uh, save and test again, see post failed, no route to the host. So there is no public connection right now to my Zabbix installation, which is safe. And then we need to work around it because we still want to have uh, my Grafana cloud connected to the Zabbix. To do that, we need to go 
in the connections private data source connect that's the way where we configure our pdc we already have a default network and that's absolutely fine for us we can see that there are zero data sources and zero tokens at the moment that's also perfectly fine click on it then you can see the three options of how you can actually install the pdc agent in your private network in my uh, zabbix server in this case so there's kubernetes and uh, i don't know it, it's good to have it but again i don't think you'll have a kubernetes ready and available in in all of the places you might need a grafana integration but it's good that it's here we have docker which is, uh, in my opinion, the best choice. If you're not familiar with the Docker, you definitely should be. Um, and, and I will show you also right from the scratch, like we don't have a Docker on this virtual machine right now. We will install it. So if you're new to the Docker, just stay tuned. We'll, we'll still, still do that. And then there's binary, which also works, but... I believe it's more complicated and also you are really need to make sure that you get the latest version of your of your binary agent you need to unzip and move the files to to your private network virtual machine or, or the hardware whatever i'm too lazy so we are going to be using the docker and the fancy thing about this is also like we need to generate a pdc signing token and to do that we can just leave the token name as it is or enter something that is familiar for us and then we need to create a token creating a token and it's done and the good thing is that we don't actually need to copy this to notepad or write it down or, or save it in some secret file in a secret place whatever if you just scroll below you see that this token is already added to the docker docker command that we're going to use to deploy our pdc agent so that's the only thing that we have to do we just need to have this line to start our pdc agent container in our private network so the next steps that we're going to do is open your cli in a place where you want to deploy your PDC agent, might be Windows, might be Linux, it's Linux in my case, because we're talking about a Zabbix. And well, basically we need to do the Docker run, but as I said, there is no Docker in um, my virtual machine. So first thing first, we need to install a Docker on a CentOS 9. And to do that, I will just Google and search for CentOS 9, install Docker first page official docker docs uninstall old versions i don't have any old versions it's a clean installation of centos 9 so i can i can skip this one installation methods you can set up docker repositories install it manually or convenience scripts or whatever but basically we just need to copy paste this we will install the yamutils so click here then as a second command we will add official docker repository right we will not download docker from something we have available we will add official docker repository and when it's added to download and install the latest version of the docker we just copy paste this command i think the docker community edition would be perfectly fine but whatever let's just uh, copy paste everything that we have here so paste it click enter it will take probably a couple of seconds depending on your internet speed as it usually goes and then click yes so if you've been hearing a squeaking noise across this video it's because of this guy he been very noisy okay so docker is installed and the only thing that we need to do is to actually start it so systemctl start docker that's done and now if everything is fine, the only thing that we need to do is go back to our Grafana cloud and find the docker run command that was generated after generating the token. And we can just copy paste it. And if again, if everything is fine, this will download the latest PDC agent from the Docker hub as a Grafana, as, as a publisher, use the token that we generated, use the name, region, everything that we need to successfully establish a PDC connection between the cloud and our private network. So first of all, we're unable to find the image locally. Then we're going to the Docker hub and downloaded the image, run it. There we go, a located port. This is Grafana private data source connect. Everything should be fine. So let's test the agent connection one agent is connected and now we can go back to our data sources hopefully everything will be fine so again we have a same ip address i have a same zabbix front end here which is not accessible from the public and what i will do is uh, save and test and uh, as we can see again a connection is failed 
just because let's choose the PDC connection and PDC one is this. So now everything should be fine. So let's try save and test again. Testing and there we go. It is Abix API version 6.4.10. Frontend is still not accessible, but the Grafana cloud can perfectly communicate with a PDC agent installed on my virtual machine. So now the communication between the Zabbix and Grafana cloud is perfectly secure. That's how you can install the PDC. It takes just a couple of minutes. If you have any questions or comments or whatever else, please let me know. If no, just click that subscribe button. That's probably the best thing how you can support this content. Thank you and see you later.